but how starting a business is more than having the skills to develop the solution is more than that. How did you know that, that both of you coming together, you'll be able to build something that would last long and grow to, to the point where you want it to go? Yeah, I think there was an element of a bet. There was an element of risk. You can't um, you can't take out the risk 100%. There's always that, uh, you, you might just have a hunch that, okay, this person might be the right person, right? Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean the risk is zero. The risk yeah. gets to reduce over time as you work together because uh, working together with someone to build a company is like, you are all dedicating the next 5, 10, 15 years of your life to that project, right? It's different from you running a side gig or side hustle. It's yeah. a completely different thing. The side hustle can die. You will still continue with your mm -hmm. life. But this is your life. Yeah. Yeah, fundamentally, right? So it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's like a marriage. And um, you mm -hmm. tend to realize so many things in the marriage with time. It's not something you realize from the beginning. Mm -hmm. But again, there are a couple of things that are needed to ensure that that marriage lasts or that relationship lasts. One, you must be able to communicate openly, right? You must be able to, mm -hmm. to, to not have things off your sleeve, like you, you have an ulterior motive, mm -hmm. wherein you are just into the relationship for the primary objective of you achieving X rather than you, you know, putting all your cards on the table. So that honesty, open communication is extremely important. Because those are the things that will enable you solve frictions when those frictions happen. Because frictions will definitely happen. Uh, you might have different mm. views in terms of how you want the business to go. But having an open and honest communication matters a lot. Then the last part I will mention with respect to that is each person must have some degree of competence that will allow the other person to respect him. Right. Mm, so nice. if you're in a relationship where... Uh, where you are the all-knowing and the other person is just uh, is just there as a figurehead, there won't be mutual respect. Um, there might be initially, but down the line, you know, it will yeah. start happening that what's really happening, you're not contributing anything. So it is essential that each person in the team yeah. is seen as equal in terms of competence, in terms of hard working, in terms of time commitments. Once you have that, then there is tendency for you to maintain that mutual respect, right? So, and I think we got that right in terms of, you know, how we founded it. Uh, Ed is the tech person, I'm the finance person. So the skill sets are complementary. And uh, to a very large extent, we're good in, with respect to what we're doing, right? We're, we're quite good with respect to what we're doing. So that there is that mutual respect mm -hmm. and the mutual respect grew over time. Uh, I think those are the key things. Um, so it wasn't that from the one we saw the, we had the crystal ball to say, yeah, this is the right person to go with, no. Um, it was, yeah, it looks like the right person, we can do this together, but there was still that element of freak that will things go on? We still work, um, we will work out. So for things to work out, then those attributes need to be in place. Being open, you know, um, having mutual respect, and, and really knowing the stuff, knowing your shit that, mm -hmm. yeah, you actually know this stuff, not that you're just blabbing and stuff. Because you're building a new company. If you really don't know, things will not move, right? You are the pillar, yeah. you are the driver, you are the pilot. If you're not making things happen, things will not happen. And that's the funny thing. Yeah. If you're working in an established establishment, um, you may not even come to work, things will work. But for a startup, you need to make things happen. Things won't just yeah. happen without making them happen. Yeah. 100%. Thank you so much for that.